نستعينه ونستغفره ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منا زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما أما بعد فإن أصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم شر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار عدنا وإياكم من النار بس الإسلام One of the things that Allah سبحانه وتعالى and his messenger has warned against is الغفلة غفلة means heedless uh, but that the person should be heed, should be heeded, should be aware of his life and why he's living and when he's dying and he will be meeting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has won against that we shouldn't be those who are heedless, those who are away all the time. They don't really know why we are created. They don't really know why they're in this world. They don't, they don't really know why they are dying. They are just living, they are on this part of the world and they're enjoying themselves like anyone else today. They're eating, they're sleeping, they're waking up the same day, the next day. They don't really know the essence and the meaning of life when we live. That's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying. And most of us know someone who will wake up in the morning and in the night, he doesn't have a plan. He doesn't have a way of life. That is not a Muslim. A Muslim is someone who has got a plan. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in many times in the Quran he tells us وَلَا تَكُونُ وَلَا تَكُمْ مِنَ الْغَافِلِينَ And do not be those who are heedless. وَلَا تَكُمْ مِنَ الْغَافِلِينَ Do not be those who are heedless. Do not be those who are away. Their mental is away. Their aql is away. They're just like an object. If you put an object somewhere, you'll just be staying there. What Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, a Muslim is someone who has got a value. A Muslim who has got a value in the dunya and the akhirah. We have been sent, we have been created. Brothers, we have been created for our mission. And the mission is to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The banner of the mission is to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That should be our banner every day when we're waking up. The motto should be, I am worshiping Allah until death. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَعْبُدْ رَبَّكَ حَتَّى يَأْتِيَكَ الْيَقِينَ Worship your Lord until death comes to you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says. So, that you know why you are here. Why you are brought into this world with your choice. Without your choice. And you will leave this world without your choice. You didn't come here with your choice. And you will go without your choice. So the only thing you have to do is you have to execute and follow the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah says, وَإِنَّ كَثِيرًا مِنَ النَّاسِ عَنْ آيَاتِنَا لَغَافِلُونَ Majority, a lot of people are unaware, are heedless about our signs Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says. مِنْ آيَاتِنَا غَافِلِينَ They are unaware. It doesn't mean that they know Islam, but they are really don't really know what they are, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says. And completely shut down. They're completely shut down from an Islam, practicing the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, يَعْلَمُونَ ظَاهِرًا مِنَ الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا وَهُمْ عَنِ الْآخِرَةِ مُغَافِلُونَ They know the apparent of this world. They know all the technology, they know all the sophisticated, sophisticated arms and everything. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَهُمْ عَنِ الْآخِرَةِ مُغَافِلُونَ But when it comes to akhira, they know nothing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says. It's only the people who have been created to live in this dunya, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is stating that. He says, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, اِقْتَرَبَ لِلنَّاسِ عِسَابُهُمْ وَهُمْ فِي غَفْلَةِ مُعْرِضُونَ The accountability, the day of judgment is coming close, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, to the people. Is it not coming close? Coming every day, every day is coming close. Because 
The day of judgment is a time Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows and every day we are uh, uh, losing one day, the next day we are going close to the day of judgment. It's not that far. Whether it is your own day of judgment or whether it is the general day of judgment. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, the day of judgment, the accountability is coming close, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, to the people. And they are in heedless. They are in, yeah, they are in completely unaware of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We are moving close the day of judgment day by day. Uh, the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are changing. We are moving to that side. And yet we see all of us who are prepared. We just like the way we are. Maybe the way we are born. Relax too much. Eat too much. Sleep too much. Enjoy yourself too much. We are not even preparing ourselves. What is, what is before us? If you know that in your travel, in your journey, there's a difficulty in your journey, you need to prepare for your journey. You will take all the tools necessary that will help you in your journey. There's no doubt with that. You will not sit back and say, oh, there's no problem, I'll see what will help. But everything, you will have the torch, you have everything. Exactly, that should be the same day of judgment. You are going to a huge day, a very sophisticated, very difficult day, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says. The day will be heavy, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says on the land believers and we dream of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So what have we prepared for that day? That's what we have to ask ourselves. Are we going to wait? Sit back and watch and wait what will happen. Is that what we need? So that's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says. Now, what are the signs of being heedless? What are the signs? What are the causes? What are the signs that I myself, if I'm sitting here today, can see myself as a sign of being heedless? Or what would be the sign of you brother sitting here to yourself? You can find yourself, oh, I have got this kind of sign, I have to change. It's a kind of ghafla. And ghafla means your intellect is covered. You can't see the reality. You're living in illusion. You're not living in the reality, you're living in illusion. Yes, so we need to remove that ghafla. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks a person when he dies. وَجَاءَتْ سَكْرَةُ الْمُوْتِ بِالْحَقِّ ذَلِكَ مَا كُنْتَ مِنْهُ تَحِيدٍ ونفق في السور ذلك يوم الوعيد وجاءت كل نفس معها سائق وشهيد لقد كنت في غفلة من هذا فكشفنا عنك غطاءك فبصرك اليوم حديد When death comes to the person he will not be the same person he will be between life and death he will be between the dunya and akhira he will be moving from the dunya to akhira a process of removing a, a, a soul from dunya to akhira so the person is not the real person. He can see the people, but he cannot recognize them. He cannot know them. He cannot speak. But he will see the reality of what is happening to him. What is coming to him. He can see the angel of death. He can see the angels of death. He will see his souls getting out of his body. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in this state, وَجَاءَتْ سَكْرَةُ الْمُوْتِ بِالْحَقِّ The time of death will come in truth. ذَلِكَ مَا كُنْتَ مِنُّ تَحِيدِ This is what you are avoiding. No one wants to die, avoiding all the time. ذلك ما كنت منه تحي ونفق في الصور ذلك يوم الوعد وجاءت كل نفس معها سائق وشهيد الله سبحانه وتعالى says لقد كنت في غفلة you are heedless you are unaware this happened to you فكشفنا عنك غطاءك we removed your veil we removed the veil in the dunya that was covering the truth from you Allah سبحانه وتعالى says we removed it فكشفنا عنك غطاءك فبصرك اليوم حديد your eyes are sharp you can see sharp you can see the reality now. You can see the hellfire. You can see the Jannah. You can see the Akhirah. You can see the hell, the Jannah. Everything Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala spoke in his book and the Sunnah of Prophet is totally apparent today. This is ghafla. Some of us we are living today, when that cover will be removed, we'll really see the reality. We'll see for sure what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa ta'ala subhanahu wa ta'ala has made. Now signs of al ghafla. One of the great signs is Laziness, not birth, laziness in performing the acts of worship. If you find yourself that you are lazy, a bit difficult for you to worship and come with the act of worship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made an obligatory, you are ghafil. The salah, for instance, you find it very difficult. You find it very difficult to come to the masjid. You find it very difficult to come uh, to wake up early in the morning. Or you relax. You find it difficult. Then you are min ahli al You are the people of those people who witness Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was explained, the munafiqin, what do you say? 
واذا قاموا الى الصلاه قاموا كسالى يراؤون الناس ولا يذكرون الله الا قليلا وانت يا استني فوق الصلاه منافقين ده هي بوكت وانت يا استني فوق الصلاه وانت يا بريبير ذا سيلف فوق الصلاه واذا قاموا الى الصلاه قاموا كسالى ده يقول استني وذ ليزينس اس ذا لو لو هيفي لو نو ذا باك ده وان كاب هيفي ان ذا لو وان ذا بروفيسر صلى الله عليه وسلم يس سي تو بلال ارحنا بها يا بلال ارحنا بها يا بلال for so as someone every has difficult to use to stand and pray to rock up because that used to make him happy arihna biha ya bilal bilal make us happy with the salah make us happy with the adab these are the people of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when it comes to salah they are happy this one allah subhanahu wa ta'ala these are people of ahlullah or those who are feeling lazy or those who are feeling heavy those who are ahlu shaytan wa na'udhu billah وإذا قاموا إلى الصلاة أم دم دي ستاند فور ذا صلاة قاموا كسالا دي لوك دي تيكينغ اوف ذا فيتس فيري ديفيكالت تو ستاند اب اند ويك اب فروم ذات الله سبحانه وتعالى ليزينس از ون اوف ذا ساين اوف ا بيرسون از غافل هي از هيدلس ذا سكند ون از لاك اوف ريمبرينغ الله سبحانه وتعالى يو ويل سي ذا بيرسون نوت ريمبرينغ الله سبحانه وتعالى ولا ايت الصلاة Or it is adhikar, or it is to do with the Quran. Some of us today, if you ask yourself, when was the last time you recited the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Maybe some of us may say, maybe two weeks ago, maybe we'll say one week ago, maybe we'll say one month ago, and someone will say one year ago, and someone will say, never, I did, I don't remember. A'udhu billahi min ash Some of us will say that, I don't remember the last time I recited the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Last time you read the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In that case, the dunya has enslaved, has enslaved us. Enslaved us. The dunya made us to be slaves, slaving us. We're working for our bellies. We're working for our private pets. We're only working for our family and working for our kids. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Ta'isa abdu dirham, wa ta'isa abdu dina, wa ta'isa abdu khamila, wa ta'isa abdu khamisa. تعس وانتكش واذا شيك فلا انتقش صلوات ربي وسلام عليه سي هي از لوست هيز لايف ذا سليف اوف ديرهم ذا سليف اوف ماني هي از لوست هيز لايف ذا سليف اوف ماني ذا سليف اوف باوند اند دولار ذا وان هو از رانينج بيهايند ذا ذا دولار اول ذا تايم ناثينغ ايلس الله سبحانه وتعالى صلى الله عليه وسلم بي كان سليف تو ذا بروف صلى الله عليه وسلم سي دوز اوف اس لوكين اونلي لوكين ذا دنيا اند وي ليفت The obligations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala behind our backs. Nothing else, our accountability is for the dunya, for akhirah there is no accountability. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saw these people who remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ala bi dhikri allahi tatma'innu al-khuluq The dhikr of Allah, the remembrance of Allah, reciting the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, making adhikar, coming to the jama'at. These are the ones that are making the person to be alive. Alive. The believer that is alive and the believer, the believer who is dead. My brothers, do you know in this world today, there are people who are in the grave, they're still alive. And there are people on this life, on this world today, who are alive and they, they're dead. People who are in the grave, they're alive. The age is going, the charity is going, their names are up, out to date, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raised their amal. They are making their amal better than us. People who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has chosen them. And there are people who are already dead their life. They have no value in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They are dead already. They are already dead. They don't have no value for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They are consumed by the world and by shaitan. Wa na'udhu billah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say as. Al-Imam Ali radiyallahu anhu says, He says, كونوا من أبناء الآخرة ولا تكونوا من أبناء الدنيا فاليوم عمل ولا حساب وغدا حساب ولا عمل Be the sons of Akhira Do not be the sons of dunya For today, there is actions and there is no accountability For tomorrow, there is accountability and there is no actions This is the power of Ali رضي الله عنه Be the sons of Akhira, do not be the sons of dunya 
For today, there is actions, there is no accountability. For tomorrow, there is accountability, there is no actions. So we should be the people of Akhirah. The people who are working for, for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Alhamdulillah, I hope you are Salatu wa salamu ala ashraf al mursaleen Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in. Amma ba'd. The fourth sign that shows the person is heedless is hope when he, he has a lot of hope. Hope is one of the things that can destroy our life. Hope, when you're young, you're hoping to live long. You say, I'm going to work when I'm 40 years old. I'll go to the masjid. I'm going to recite. I'm going to seek knowledge when I'm 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Hope, that's called hope. Hope, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is a kind of things that you know, makes the person to don't, don't see the reality. Don't see the reality. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, ذَرْهُمْ يَأَكُلُوا وَيَتَبَتَّعُوا وَيُنْهِهِمُ الْأَمَلُ فَسَوْفَ يَعْلَمُ Leave them, eat, let them eat, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says. أَبْلَاءُ الدُّنْيَا Those who are living for the dunya, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya Muhammad, leave them, let them eat. Let them enjoy themselves. ذَرْهُمْ يَأَكُلُوا وَيَتَبَتَّعُوا And let them have desires. Let them fulfill their desires. Their bellies, the private parts. The intellect, whatever they want to want, whatever they do. And hope will destroy them. And hope will destroy them. Hope will destroy them. And hope will destroy them. And hope will destroy them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says. فَصَوْفَ يَعْلَمُونَ And they will know later Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says. So hope, it is something, something good and also not something good. You know, when you're giving yourself all that kind of hope and you're saying, I will leave, I will do this, and I will, I will do this. أَلَمْ يَأْنِ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا أَنْ تَخْشَعَ قُلُوبُهُمْ لِذِكْرِ اللَّهِ وَمَا نَزَّلَ مِنَ الْحَقِّ وَلَا يَكُونُوا كَالَّذِينَ أُوتُوا الْكِتَابَ مِنْ قَبْلِهِمْ وَلَا يَكُونُوا كَالَّذِينَ أُوتُوا الْكِتَابَ مِنْ قَبْلِهِمْ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Is it not close? Is it not ready? Those who believe أَنْ تَخْشَعَ قُلُوبُهُمْ Their hearts become soft Is it not time now? Those of us who are disobeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala How long can we disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Is it not the time to change our soul? Is it not the time to turn the tables? Is it not the time to come back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala all the time? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and takhsha'a qulubum li dhikri Allahi wa ma nazala min al-haq wa la yakunu ka al-lazina utu al-kitab min qablihi fa ta'ala alayhum al-amal It should not be the people of Ahlul Kitab Those who have hope a lot fa qasat qulubum and the hearts tend to be hard fa kathiru minum fasifu This is one of the signs that destroy the person that you can say, you are, I'm going to change myself tomorrow. And you see, we are in debt on this. I'm going to go Hajj. I'm going to go Umrah, inshallah, and then I will start a new chapter. I will stop in debt with riba. I will stop in debt with fornication. I will do this and I will do this, inshallah, once. But is that, will that be given? That time will be given to you? Allahu Akbar. It might be on today or tomorrow. It might end your time. The fourth one. Is befriending with the people of heedless when you become a friend, those who are heedless, no aghafin. When you have a friend that is away from the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when you have a friend that will not bring you to the masjid, when you have a friend that will not encourage you to serve the of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, يقول يا ليتني اتخذت مع الرسول سبيلا يا ويلتها لم اتخذ فلانا خليلا لقد ضلني عن الذكر بعد ان جاءني وكان الشيطان للانسان خذولا. الله سبحانه وتعالى says ويوم يعض الظالم the day the the oppressor who oppressed himself in the dunya who has been given all that time who has been given all that health and life and beautiful life Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given him all the ni'mah in the dunya. And he wasn't listening to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he's been given, given the opportunity to repent. Come in, brother. Move forward, brother. Inshallah, move forward. Come in. Move forward.
Those who have the person he has been given all the time in his life. Everything Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given, but he hasn't been repenting. In the day of judgment, he would say, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, The oppressor will bite his fingers, his hands in remorse. Why? Why will he bite his fingers? Because he sees Ahlul Jannah. People used to live with him in the masjid, in the town, in Luton, in this wall. He used to see people going to the masjid, people, people praying to salah, he used to see people reciting the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on his right hand, on his left hand. All the people are going, but he was going the other way. He was going the other way. He was seeing the people. He was seeing the people. But he was going the other way, the wrong way. And by who? A person who was not good. It's been taken by someone who's good. Ya Abu Balimu, he will remorse. He will fight his fingers in remorse. Ya Qulu, ya Laytani, takhattu ma'a Rasul Sabiya. I wish I would have fallen away from Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Ya Ikhwan, how many wish people are going to have the day of judgment? I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish. I would have changed myself. I wish I've gone to the masjid. I wish I've received the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's a lot of wish and win the day of judgment. Ya Laytani, in remorse. Ya Laytani, in am attakhid fulan al khalila, awal would I met fulan, so on, so on, my friend. Laqad adallani ani dikri. He has averted me, divided me from the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. From the salah, he used to take me to outside. Instead of coming to the salah, he used to take me to the bars, he used to take me to the discos, he used to take me to the where people play and all these things. This is all there. He said, وَيَوْمَ يَعَضُّ الْوَالِمُ عَلَى يَدِهِ يَقُولُ يَا لَيْتَنِي اتَّخَدْتُ مَعَ الرَّسُولِ سَبِيلًا يَا وَيْلَتَ لَا يَأْتَنِي إِنَّا لَمَا اتَّخِذْ فُلَا لَقَدْ أَظَلَّنِي عَنِ الْدِكْرِ بَعْدَ إِنْ جَاءَيْ وَكَانَ الشَّيْطَانُ الْإِسْلِ This will be a position in the day of judgment that will happen to some of us in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us. If we don't change ourselves, that will happen to us. You will see yourself with that bad, evil, peer, friend with him. And the fifth, the fifth one sign is sins. The sins we commit are one of the things that make us rafil. Sins, if they accumulate and you keep on sinning and sinning and sinning, they will cover your heart and they cover your aql. Nothing good will come in, nothing good will, will get out. You'll be locked. Your heart will be locked on our with that. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So you will never differentiate good and bad. Evil and good, you never differentiate. Will be just like that. Your heart will be gone. So now we will die. Kalla barrana ala qurubi ma kanu yaksibu ya ma kanu yaksibu. Allah subhanahu wa taala says, "Nay, barrana ala qurubihim." Their hearts were Allah subhanahu wa taala. They 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 stains on their heart. Allah subhanahu wa taala stains on their heart for the evil they used to do. Allah subhanahu wa taala says. So sins will play a huge part. Of the person becoming ghafil. Ghafil. Once they say there's a man who used to drink. He used to drink a lot with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he was far away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for a long time, for 20 years. And one day he came to visit his, his friend, he came to his, his, his brother in the house. So his brother told him, let's go. And it was, it was Traweeh, Ramadan. He said, let's go and pray. Tarawih. This guy hasn't prayed for 20 years. He's, he just even doesn't have, have that kind of appetite. He said, brother, leave me. I haven't prayed for 20 years. I wonder if, he said, let's go, brother. He forced him anyway. He, he brought for him a good, you know, clothes and clean clothes and washed himself. He came to the masjid. So this time, the brother, last time, he was in the masjid, was 20 years ago. Last time in the masjid. And when, subhanAllah, someone who knew the deen of Allah, subhanAllah, when the imam recited the Quran, some of the Quran hit him in the heart. That means his heart will unlock now when he's in the masjid. For a little bit, for the rahmah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the heart was unlocked and this good ayat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enters the heart of that person. And they clean it, and that was the first salah and that was the last salah he prayed. He died immediately. Allah give us the wah. The seventh thing is spending a lot of our time, nothing. Most of us Muslims today, how do we spend our time? We don't really think about the time, spending a lot of time, spending a lot of time. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
ثم صلى الله عليه وسلم زي نعمة تانية مقبول فيها كثير من الناس الصحة والفلاح الله في نعمة تو نعمة most of people are aware of Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم says health and time patient people spend their time on what today for nothing nothing valuable whatsoever we spend we don't spend on the deal of Allah we don't spend close to Allah سبحانه وتعالى we spend all our time most of the people today we spend a lot of time on other things. And this is one kind of the sins, which is not good. And that's why we see today, the young people today, Alhamdulillah, the good young people today, Shabab, they are Shabab, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has protected them, Allah protect our Shabab. Alhamdulillah, there's some of them, the majority of the Shabab are away today, brothers, they are away from the masjid. The Shabab are away from the masjid. It is our obligation to bring them to the masjid. The Shabab today, <coughs> the Shabab today, when one of their team's players, they lose, their team loses the shedding tears. To this extent, their hearts are occupied by the shaitan. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, this is the shabab. And how are the shabab in the dunya? How are the shabab? The shabab who they have their deen in their heart when they are real shabab, they are real shabab. I remember someone was speaking about the brothers who are going to, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have been arrested and detained in Guantanamo. In Guantanamo, in Cuba. He said, We have been taken from Afghanistan. We have been traveling with the plane upside down. We are shackled behind. Our legs and our, our, our hands are all shackled. Our, our eyes are, are blinded. He says, And we're going down. You know, anytime we can be executed, he says, This guy is a Muslim. He says, A brother who's a sharp comes to me and he whispers in the ear. He says, Brother, did you pray Maghrib? <coughs> Look at this Iman. I don't have that Iman. Look at this Iman Allah. He comes close to me and he says, Brother, you pray He says, The guns are on our hands, on our heads. Anytime, can be executed. No movement. He says, Look at the Iman he has. Thinking about the Salah. And this is how Muslims have to live. Did you come? Did you pray, Brother? He comes close to me and says, Did you pray? Did you pray, Makhrib? And they prayed in that state. But Taqullah has the path to fear Allah as much as you can. As much as you can. This is how. Shabab wa, they used to sacrifice their deen and give up their life for the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah bring them back inshallah. Wa ma sallu wa sallimu ala nabi Mustafa in Allah wa malaikatu wa sallu ala nabi ayu ladina amu sallu ala wa sallimu wa sallimu Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala ala Muhammadin kama sallayt ala Ibrahim wa ala ala Ibrahim wa barik ala Muhammadin wa ala ala Muhammadin kama barakt ala Ibrahim wa ala ala Ibrahim fi al-alamin inna ka hamidun majid. اللهم اغفر للمسلمين والمسلمات المؤمنين والمؤمنات الحياء منهم والاموات انك غريب مجيب الدعوات يا رب العالمين ربنا اتنا في الدنيا حسنه وفي الاخره حسنه وقنا عذاب النار واقنا السلام